we both decided we were ready to adopt and um, we started exploring our options and we were instantly drawn to the China program. Um, my husband had heard of um, an organization out of Springfield that um, was advocating for Chinese children with special needs and we started the process there and from there we adopted three children um, within um, about four years and they all have special needs. Um, Ellie came home first and she is from central China and then we brought home Isaac. He was only 11 months when we brought him home and Sophie um, was three and a half and that was our last adoption that we did in 2015. We have um, two almost grown children. Um, our daughter will be 21 this year and she's a junior in college. She's studying special ed and uh, son is a senior in high school and he will be graduating in a couple weeks. You know, we saw a need and we decided that we were both healthy and active and my husband was retired and we just decided that it was something that we were feeling called to do and led to do. The, just the joy and the laughter, the three of them are very close in age so it's kind of like a party all the time in our house. It's pretty wild. Um, they run around a lot and laugh and um, so I think that's the most rewarding is just seeing their smiles. It was really never on my radar, um, and yet once we started the process, um, I, I just can't imagine not doing it. The, the process for us was very simple. There is a lot of paperwork, and there is um, some time you know, in between being able to start the process and, and meet your child, but it was relatively small. A lot of the needs um, that are considered special needs in China are, are not considered anything unusual here and so there's so many children that that could be you know brought to loving homes and raised um, and, and families that I, I would just encourage anyone that that was thinking about adopting to look into it more because it's not as scary as it sounds and to some people when they say that they think oh I could never do that and, I, and my children are not to me, not handicapped. I don't ever think of them as, as being blind or even uh, vision impaired. I think that they navigate the world the way that they can in their own way and, and, and they're doing wonderful and I can't imagine my life without them.